So you want to be a runner, but you don't know where to start, feel like you're a complete beginner, this is the video for you where we are going to talk all things running. Now, I grew up playing sports, but I did not grow up running. Anytime there was a running event, I was like, um, I'm out, please. And when I played soccer, too much running, so I quit. Fast forward a lot of years, and when I was in my late 20s, I decided that I wanted to be a runner because I thought it sounded cool. And it was one of the worst experiences <laughs> of my entire life, and I'm gonna tell you about it today. <laughs> if you wanna hear about how running and me have a have a hate-hate relationship, hit that thumbs up button, here we go. Okay, I had a friend when I was about 26, 27, who was a runner, whatever that means. Anything faster than walking, you're a runner. It doesn't matter what you look like, it doesn't matter how fast you are, it doesn't matter how far you go, you are a runner. So this girl, she was about my age, had the same number of kids, and I would watch her out my office window as she like ran laps around the neighborhood. And I'd, I'd see her the next day at playgroup or whatever, and I'm like, hey, Emily, I saw you running. Like, how far did you run? She was like, oh, it was, it was only four miles. What? Four miles? It was completely outside of the scope of my ability to understand what she was saying to me. And I'm like, I want to do that. They have great legs, hearts in great shape, and if a bear is chasing me, I don't want to be in the back. So I decided I was going to be a runner. This was after my first three children, and I had kind of gotten into a stretch of not working out anymore, like not like I did when I was a teenager and early 20s person, and definitely not like I do now. So I was like, okay, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. We got to start somewhere, and we did the Couch to 5K program, okay? Which is where the thumbnail for this video came from, <laughs> from a couch potato. Potato to run! If you've ever done the Couch to 5K program, it's a really easy like jog walk beginning to not get overwhelmed. It's only three days a week. I would still to this day recommend it to anyone. The first day is like jog for 60 seconds, walk for two minutes, and you do that six times. So you're literally only jogging for one minute, and it was horrific. It was in Texas, okay, so it was hot. And I'm pretty sure it was the summertime. So it was hot and humid. But that one minute felt so impossible. My legs felt like they were stuck in tar and were as heavy as giant bricks of concrete. My heart was beating so hard. I thought like blood was going to blast out of my eyeballs. Steam, I'm, I'm positive, is coming out of my ears and I cannot breathe. Like, I, I just can't take in a full breath. It was so bad. So I hope I'm convincing you to start running. <laughs> I didn't quit though, because it's not that I'm not a quitter, it's that I'm really stubborn, <laughs> is really what it is. I was too stubborn to quit. I just kept going and it did not get easier. My ability to go longer improved, but it wasn't ever easy until I was probably a year into it. Something clicked one day. I'm pretty sure it was a cool front that came in. <laughs> I got that like runner's high that people talk about. Here's what it is. You get into this flow state. I would call it a meditative state while in movement, right? Where your brain just like empties and your body is almost on autopilot and your thoughts go all over the place. And that, that is what makes the whole thing worth it. I've experienced it a lot since then. Okay, let's talk about equipment a little bit. There are a few things that you need if you wanna be a runner. Uh, for guys, it's probably just a pair of shoes. For girls, it's a pair of shoes and a sports bra. For anyone that wants to run, I'm gonna tell you that shoes are the number one thing you should invest in. You can still get deals, but you're not going to be happy if you're running in Walmart shoes. So I recommend going to a shoe store, having the, your foot fitted, and then try on a bunch of different ones, and then pick the ones that you don't notice on your feet. For me, it's the Brooks Ghost. This is my all-time favorite shoe. I have tried a ton of other shoes. I also like New Balance a little bit. I have wider feet. Nikes don't work at all. Like Nike running shoes are a no. Mizuno running shoes are a no. Like they are just so narrow. And then within the brand, there's a variety of styles that you might prefer one over the other and everyone's foot is different so this shoe may not work for you another shoe i like also the brooks is the pure flow it's a lighter weight shoe you're not going to get as many miles out of this one it's more minimal and as far as getting a deal on any of these go to last season's shoes they're on sale uh, you're not going to be able to get maybe your favorite color or anything but you can pick up a decent pair of shoes for 50 to 80 dollars ladies 
you might also want to pick up a sports bra or three. There's a wide range of needs and price ranges depending on you. If you are a bustier gal, you are going to want to invest <laughs> in this product. If you are on the smaller side, you can get away with some cheaper options. I'll give you a couple of options. I did a whole video on sports bras for runners and I will leave that down below. So I have this champion one. It fits like a normal bra. It's got the hook clasp on the back and it has adjustable straps like this, just like a normal bra. This one was about 20 to $30. And then also for your smaller girls, one of my favorite sports bras is the Under Armour Crossback. I can get them at Kohl's for 20 bucks. I love them. Like it's all Haley wears. I really like those. They're really good. So let's move on to your uh, bustier ladies. The She Fit sports bras are amazing. They are an investment. Every single inch of it is adjustable, which is great for me. I like this one. This is a Lululemon bra. I prefer the cross back uh, over like the straps like this. And then I like the cottony feel of a sports bra. All of the other fabrics tend to bug me after a while. And this bottom band is really, really wide. And because of the seaming across the cups like this, it gives you some cup size room. So I would call this like a uh, maybe a B through a D cup. Probably girls that are bigger than that are not gonna fit because nothing is adjustable into this one. Um, if you're an A, this is not gonna work because I think these cup pieces would be too big. If you're like an A, B, I would go with the Under Armour, B through D, this one as like an investment you're gonna reach for every time or this champion one. And if you're above that, the she fit one is the way to go. A couple of other things that are nice. You don't have to have these. I love to run with a little sports belt like this. This one's just from Amazon, but I love it better than the expensive ones. The zipper sections are really big and this is waterproof. I don't know about you, but I'm a sweaty girl. I am a gross, nasty, sweaty girl. My phone can fit in here. In fact, I'll show you. This is an iPhone 12. It's hard to do when it's not actually on me. Okay. There. Bloop. And it's on and it's adjustable. Dave steals it sometimes and loosens it way up like this, you know. Oh, look, the second pocket, I have my chapstick. I can put my keys. I can put snacks, you know, cause it's got two really, really large pockets. I'm sure it comes in different colors. I will leave a link to everything I'm talking about down below if you wanna check it out. I love this. And then as far as music goes, you have to, have good music. This is an actual study on this, okay? Researchers found that listening to music leads to a 28% increase in enjoyment. Enjoyment was 13% higher for those that listen to music versus a podcast. Music increases exercise performance, delays fatigue, increases performance and endurance, power and strength. So you need to get some music up in here. Oh, what music do I listen to? I'm so glad you asked. A wide variety of music, Offspring, Interrupters. I do have some Taylor Swift, Imagine Dragons, a ton of Fall Out Boy. Fall Out Boy is great for running. Reliant K, I have AWOL Nation, I have some Elton John, Florence and the Machine, Cake, Beck, some David Guetta, One Republic, Panic at the Disco is great to run. All Time Low, a little bit of Rob Thomas, the Black Eyed Peas, Maroon 5, I definitely have some One Direction. Beatles, hello. Queen is good for everything. Blink-182, U2, little Duran Duran, never heard anybody. I got more. We could talk music all day, but um, then I wouldn't get to anything else. Really important topic to talk about as you start running and try and move yourself into that direction. Maybe you signed up for a race or something like that and you have something looming on the horizon and you go out and your run feels impossible. I want you to know that you are capable. I know it doesn't feel like it in the beginning, but your body will always adapt to what you are asking it to do. And then the next time you will be better. And then the next time you will be better. Like your body can do it. I went from that girl who couldn't jog for 60 seconds without wanting to collapse on the ground and die to now today, I've run three marathons, 15 half marathons. I've lost count of how many 5Ks and 10Ks. I've done a half Ironman. And right now I'm training for another triathlon. If you live in a cold climate like me, you might need access to a treadmill during the winter months. Otherwise, you're gonna be doing what Dave and I just did. And are you going to be honest about how much you did not want to come today? I did not want to come so bad. I was very grouchy. Dave's already running. 
Dave signed up for an ultra trail run. He needs some serious training. So I'm keeping him company today. Yeah, still a little grouchy about it, but I'm here. It is the year of yes. When someone asks me to do something, the answer is yes. Time to level up. How are you feeling? Uh, I almost twisted my ankle about five times. No joke. <sighs> Was uh, this have fun? I'm okay. Yeah. Did you see what I did? I did. All I can say is I know it feels impossible, but you have to be patient and consistent and get out of your own way. We doubt ourselves so much when we try something and it's hard, so we, so we think we can't do it, but you can do it. It's supposed to be hard. That's how you grow. If running was easy, literally everyone would do it. Look around at your like circle of people in your like in-person life, not on YouTube, but like in your in-person life. How many of them run regularly? Go run a 5K, go out and run two, three miles, a couple days a week or whatever. How many of them? It's not very many. So if you're gonna try it, I would encourage you to let your body adapt because it will, because you can do it, because if I can do it, anyone can do it. Nobody hated running as much as I did. Don't be your worst enemy and get out of your own way and please allow yourself to feel success. If you're a beginner, I would highly recommend the Couch to 5K program. I think they have an app now you can put on your phone and it'll like tell you when to walk and run. Wanting to do a 5K or a 10K or whatever it is. I did the Hal Higdon free plan online many, many times. And if you wanna try and sign up for a 5K or something like that, but you think maybe you're gonna come in last, you won't. I promise you will, you will not be last. There's always gonna be someone faster than you. There's always going to be someone slower than you. And even if you go to the 5k and you walk the whole dang thing and it takes you an hour, there's still going to be someone behind you. I mean, there's going to be the 11 year old kid that finishes in 15 minutes, but there's also going to be a whole crew of people that just want to enjoy the day and be outside. And that's great too. But what I like to do is look at where I started that day where I couldn't jog for one minute to now and realize that somewhere along the way, I became a runner and it's cool and I have some medals to prove it and a lot of race t-shirts <laughs> to prove it. And if you wanna do it too, you can do it too. If you have any more questions about running, injuries, form, races, whatever, I can geek out about fitness stuff all day long. Ask them in the comments and I will see if I can make another video in the future answering those questions. Thanks for hanging out with me today and I'll see you in the next video.